Hi, good evening. I'm Corey Scott, and this is Political News, Political Views. And to my left is the ever so politically passionate Dave Lillis. <laughs> uh, some say passionate, some say nut. Uh, this is a show where there's no uh, cue cards, no idiot boards, no teleprompters. We are just two people talking. Um, and, and I want to qualify that. In our last show, we talked about, um, and, and I wasn't really, I didn't push it, I just was making a point, of people thinking on their own. Mm -hmm. That you hear something and um, somebody does the thinking for you. And what's really sad, and that, that is a point, we're, we're going to bring up a lot of points. All we want you to do is to think. Now, you may agree with us, you may not. I would suggest that you don't throw anything at the TV, as that TVs are quite expensive, and I may be a horse's ass, but don't ruin your TV, please. And we're not, we're not saying that we're right in anything that we're saying. These are just, uh, I guess you can look at this show as a, an opinion piece, so to speak. So we're not trying to push uh, you to, to think one way or the other, but we do, we encourage you to think for yourself. And, and the opinions that we have are not based on party, it's through observation, through what people say and, and the foundation of it. Now, Corey was telling me a little while ago, and, and I asked him, I said, when I say something to you, do you take it as gospel? And he said, no. I said, hell yes, no. <laughs> I hope you don't. No. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's if I hear something, if it makes sense, I can accept it. But some of the stuff that's coming out now is just so bizarre. It's like, what has happened to us? Are we that stupid? That that uh, example, uh, QAnon. QAnon is just outright bizarre. And the thing is, some of the conspiracies that come out of it, you wouldn't see on TV or in the movies or on a cartoon. But yet, there's people out there that believe it word for word as gospel. Yeah, I, I think that... Uh I think there's a saying or some, something to the, to the extent that if there's a rumor, there's got to be some, you know, kind of like some truth in part to that, you know, to that rumor. Um, I looked at a video today about uh, QAnon and I, I can only look, I think it was like maybe two or three minutes and I just turned off the video. Uh, the gentleman was talking about um, aliens with lizard, lizard skin and um, CIA uh, has something to do with JFK's assassination. Now, that's what I mean, but I believe that there's some truth to the assassination, assassination of John F. Kennedy. I think everyone feels the same way. But yeah. the other things that they were talking about, I, what, what really kind of blew my mind was that they feel that all these conspiracy theories that Trump can save them from all these things that they feel <laughs> are true. How about the one that uh, last year, where for three weeks, people were lined up in Dealey Plaza mm -hmm. waiting for John Kennedy Jr. to come back and run as Donald Trump's vice president. Wow, that I never... Yeah, they 18, or for three weeks, they sat there waiting for John Kennedy Jr., JFK Jr., mm -hmm. to come riding down with Trump and he was going to be Trump's vice president. And they showed them on TV week after week, and they believed it, and they were waiting for him. Now, I, I, I'm going to throw something up to you. Um, I, I've heard of QAnon, and, and supposedly it's Q. And the rest of it is anonymous because the person who allegedly started did not want to be known, mm -hmm. which probably was a good idea. That was probably the only smart thing he did. However, 
I was just wondering where the hell it came from. I was, I was just about to ask the same question. I'm very curious about that. I have a theory. I have a conspiracy theory. <laughs> so I'm going to get my fair share here too. So go ahead and write this down if you want to. And, and it's no more bizarre than what the hell you've been listening to now. But you're familiar with uh, Star Trek The Next Generation? Mm. The first show, the adversary was a person named Q, played by John DeWitt. The character Q on Star Trek came on board the ship and brought on chaos, had people, ad made them adversarial, started uh, fights between them just to stand back and see what would happen. Hmm. And of course, John Luke Picard, you know, kicked him in the ass and threw him off the ship, something to that effect. That would be Donald Trump, right? Uh, no, <laughs> no, Donald Trump, you know, he's, he's scared. <laughs> but I was wondering if that's where he got the name Q. Mm -hmm. Because that character appeared several times. I think he appeared in uh, other parts of Star Trek. And, and I only bring that up because the name Q and what the character stood for is exactly what Q does. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, I'm not charging you for that. That's free and for nothing. So believe it if you want. However, uh, there was an episode on the original Star Trek that caught my eye actually two of them. Mm -hmm. So um, don't ask me how we got on the Star Trek, but I'm going to take it. There was one episode where there was an alien, and um, you can find it in, in on uh, YouTube, or you know, just watch the old episodes, where the Klingons and the Enterprise uh, officers were fighting, and this alien was causing it. It, it would take the, their weapons and turn them into swords and they constantly fought one another. Mm -hmm. And as they fought, they would kill each other and then they would come right back to life. And they would just keep fighting and fighting. And it got worse and worse. And the alien, according to the story, kept growing and growing with the animosity. Mm -hmm. And we're doing the same thing. Oh, yeah. We are getting so bad that I, I wonder, can we ever come back together? We have families that won't talk to one another. You have to be very careful of who you're talking to. And damned if you see a car uh, traveling down the road with a, uh, uh, not only a Trump flag, but Trump dressed as Rambo. Yeah, fat chance on that. Um, yeah. Well, if you know the background to it. Trump uh, was deferred five times from going to Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And his, what he said was, well, I, had this, I stayed here and I fought um, uh, social diseases. Mm -hmm. That was his thing. But what happened was his father uh, had a doctor in his building. Mm -hmm. And instead of raising the rent on his office, he had the doctor give deferments for uh, bone spurs. That's why they call him President Bone Spurs. And it kept him out of Vietnam. And he just felt that he shouldn't have to go. Mm -hmm. And he also felt that his two sons should not have gone either and uh, signed up for war. So that was verified by the doctor's daughters and they showed the paper. So that is absolutely true. That's not a conspiracy, that is absolutely true. But um, the other episode was one where uh, there were two aliens. One was Frank Gorshin, I can't remember who the other one was. One was black on the, white si on the right side and white on the left side. And the other one was just the opposite. And they destroyed their world and the, the, they were the two last people of their world and they ended up on uh, the Enterprise. Now I'm not trying to promote Star Trek or anything but the point was of that show was they were two human beings and the color of their skin it was right down the middle mm -hmm. black on one side white on the other white on one side black on the other mm -hmm. and they constantly fought and fought and fought until they killed off their own 
kind. Why? Okay, we can look at that show and say that's stupid, mm -hmm. but we are doing, doing the same, same thing. thing. We're doing the same thing. They say art imitates life. And, and, and to your point where you were speaking about how family members uh, can't get along, it, you know, we were just talking in the car that we're not viewed as human beings anymore. No. We're viewed as political parties. Um, I watched a, a clip of um, Jimmy Kimmel. Uh, he had Arnold Schwarzenegger on there, and uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger was talking about how he uh, rented this building. I think he, I want to say it was back in the 80s, uh, office building. Um, he said a lot of entertainers will rent, uh, rent from him, uh, rent offices, and Oliver Stone um, rented one, and he was just saying how uh, I was on the right because I'm, you know, I'm with the right, and Oliver Stone was let, see, and, and it's, it's things like that where we're not viewed as human beings, we're viewed as political parties. If you tell someone that you're a Republican, you know, you have some people turn up your nose, or if you tell somebody that you're a Democrat, same situation. We, and, and so, back to your point of us thinking for ourselves, and I think because we don't view each other, or even our, ourself as individuals, we don't view ourselves as human beings, and we view ourselves as parts of a political party, we're allowing them to think for us. We are listening to them and they're taking everything that someone says in that party as, a, as the gospel and not researching the things for themselves. So I feel like as long as you view yourself as a, as a political party and not a human being, I feel that this is, this is what's gonna happen. These are the situations that we're going to you know, fall into as far as destroying ourselves, like you said. Well, this is, this is where people don't think, mm -hmm. and I'll explain why. Now, I've done this on, on the show before, in previous shows, so mm -hmm. let's do it again because mm -hmm. uh, you know we don't have to have commercials or anything, so we can do mm -hmm. this. Um, we say the far right and the far left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got that wrong, didn't I? Okay, so the far left and the far right. Okay, now if that be true, and you are far right. Mm -hmm and I am far left, what does that say? In my mind. It's and, and, and just those two words. To me, it just means that we're, the way I look at it, and I could be wrong, just extremists. That's how I feel. Okay, extremists in, in, in what? In what, our, what we believe, um, as far as what those parties stand for. Okay, so far, so you're the right, mm -hmm. you're extreme conservative, mm -hmm. and I'm the left, and I'm extreme Liberal. Mm -hmm. Well, that's fine. Okay. Uh, those are labels to me. Mm -hmm. And extreme liberal means what? I can explain mm -hmm. extreme conservative. Mm -hmm. Conservative would be traditional, uh, ultra tr traditional, you know, uh, as, as you go back in time, mm -hmm. things were much different. For example, women spoke when when they were told to. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you you stayed married. Uh, you, you, it, it was traditional values right. and you followed those values right. to the letter of the law. Right. Some of it would um, be equipped uh, the same as uh, fundamentalism. Mm -hmm. You take the Bible as it is written. Mm -hmm. Okay, now liberals allegedly are um, naked rolling yeah, around yeah. in the mud. Yeah. That's all I can figure. Just fun, I, fun I, I don't know what that means. Mm -hmm. Now, having said that, now we have the two extremes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a coverall, would you say? An absolute? Yeah. Okay, all right, good. Let's take an issue. Now, I've said on this show, I don't know how many times, which people are probably saying it right now, he's gonna say the same damn thing he said before. Mm -hmm. There's two issues that will not be decided, and damned if they aren't up right now. Guns and abortion. Okay, absolutely. In theory, you can adjudicate them or put a law to them, in theory. But society will not gravitate to them. They'll not. You can put all the laws you want in, it's not gonna make a difference. Mm -hmm. You can, in theory, have a legislature that says, okay, this is the law and this is what we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. But these are two issues that cannot, cannot be decided. Mm -hmm. 
So they had to be done differently. So let's take some other things. Again, you're right, mm -hmm. conservative, mm -hmm. fundamentalist, and I'm left, still in the mud. Can we switch? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. No, 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 I like, I like my mud. That's a joke. I like my mud. <laughs> you know, I put Coca-Cola in it, you know, give you a fizz. Anyway, back to business. Let's take an issue. Taxes. I'll bet you if we took the issue on taxes, we would see different. We might even be on the opposite side. Where do these issues come from? Where it, It's uh, of a class that I took many, many years ago called What You Are Is Where You Were When. Hmm. How you were brought up, where you were brought up, how, the, the different things around you at that time mm -hmm. would influence your life as to how you think. Mm -hmm. So you can take different issues. Um, marriage. Some people think that you don't touch each other until right. uh, you are married mm -hmm. and you do it the proper way. And that would be the Christian way of thinking. Right. Now the funny thing is, um, just a side note, but uh, the Puritans were very Christian, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, they had 45 illegitimate children born in Jamestown. Yeah, that's a fact. Wow. So, so much for that. Right. But my point is that, that you and I might look differently at that. Mm -hmm. I'm basically older. Mm -hmm. And when I came up, you looked at marriage differently. Mm -hmm. It was, you, you, once you got married, you stayed married, and no matter what, you stayed together. Right. You're younger than me. You may think differently. But yet you're conservative and I'm liberal. Well, that shoots that all to hell. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Prayer in school. Mm -hmm. I came up when there was prayer in school. We used to face the flag. We saluted the flag, said the Pledge of Allegiance, said a prayer, and then sat down. Well, I was five, six years old. I really didn't think too much about it. You know, five or six years old, I'm thinking of... Uh, cartoons and going outside and playing. You know, I prayed because of the, the uh, nun told me to and I didn't want to get hit. Mm -hmm. But now, I mean look we just had a, a, a case in the Supreme Court that ruled that a man could go out on the middle of a football field, kneel down and pray. Mm -hmm. And he won. Mm -hmm. Took seven years, mm -hmm. he got fired and lost his job over that. Mm -hmm. You see, yeah. my point is that you can be conservative and I can be liberal, but when it comes to individual issues, mm -hmm. they're not black and white. Mm -hmm. They're not etched in stone. They're not absolutes. Mm -hmm. So how can we say this about each other? You think this way, you must be a damn conservative. Exactly, yeah. And me, they see me in the mud rolling around, you got to be a liberal, you dirty son of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. But see how we think? We put a label on it and that's what you, that's are. What you are. And now that label has divided us to the point we can't even talk. Not not only divided us, but once again it just goes back to thinking for yourselves. Because when I was a kid, you know, as you stated, uh yeah, marriage, you know, uh fornication, uh Sex was, you know, a thing after, you know, after marriage, no touching, whatever the case may be. Um, as I as I got older, I think I've, uh, <laughs> well, let's let's just say, I was along lines with the the Puritans. I <laughs> let, but, let, let me but, put it in a context that that maybe the folks will understand. Mm -hmm. When I grew up, Lucy and Ricky were in separate beds, and somehow she got pregnant. She wasn't allowed to say pregnant on TV. Mm. That was against the rules. Fred and Wilma were in separate beds, mm. and we didn't talk about it. Shoot forward to today's cartoons, you can see it happening. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's, it, you don't see the birth of the child, you see the conception. Yeah. But in my day, oh no, they didn't even have a toilet. We kind of wondered about that for years until Archie Bunker flushed that toilet back in 1972. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew that they even existed on TV. But see, it, and as, I know that's extreme, but 
look what how we thought and where we're at now we have changed now again does that mean that I'm right and you're wrong no not at all you you evolve you learn but you talk to people you okay Archie Bunker is a good example because at the time that show came out it blew people away. I mean, you went from Andy Andy Griffith to Archie Bunker. I mean, that, that was a big switch. Uh, and Doris Day, you know, and, uh, uh, what the hell? But we looked at ourselves through Archie Bunker, through Mike Stibbick, through all of them. Mm -hmm. And we laughed. And we kind of bitched. But we learned something. Mm -hmm. There are people out there that are like that. Mm -hmm. And even on the show, they showed how you can be wrong. Mm -hmm. And we accepted it. So, and we grew up. So, but now a show like Archie Bunker. Couldn't be could, done. Could, could, couldn't be done, but why? Yeah. Th I mean, this, this, is, this is truth. You know, the, the, the bigotry, the, you know, the, the, uh, the racism, you know, his thoughts on different races other than his own. I mean, that... How Today, about this? It, it cannot be done. So it's it's. Let's kick in an, an issue that just happened in the last couple of years. What's that? George Floyd. Hmm. We watched him die in real time. We watched it. It wasn't a, a, a story that that uh, CNN or or Fox News or anything brought up. Hey, today uh, this happened to someone. Mm -hmm. We watched it happen. That's not funny. No, it's not. But we had Black Lives Matter because we saw that. Now, what people, most people don't understand, the police report that went in that day was suspect was arrested and experienced uh, um, health problems. It, it was something generic. Mm -hmm. And that was going to go into the file. If the young lady hadn't taken the picture and there were all those witnesses there, that's exactly how it would have gone in. And we watched it. Now, with Archie Bunker, we laughed at it. Mm -hmm. We saw it and said, oh, yeah, there's people out there. I know someone like that. Mm -hmm. But we watched it happen. Mm -hmm. We had a president who said the things that he said. Yeah. Yeah. Now, why is that different? Because, you know, okay, I'm going to go back to my time. Mm -hmm. Now, we'll go back to your time. Mm -hmm. In my time, the president was respected, mm -hmm. revered. Police officers were respected, revered priests, uh, 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 clergy, um, politicians. Uh, you, you could use them as your heroes, mm -hmm. sports stars, movie stars. You could mm -hmm. look at them and say, wow, that's really some." And, and we had the image of them. Mm -hmm. But today we see the truth. Yeah. Now we're living the truth. We're not looking at it. We're living it. And while we're living it, it's not so nice. Yeah. I mean, with, uh, with the conception of social media, if social media was back, in, even in my time, you know, I grew up in the, in the 80s, um, I, I think this, what's going on now would have happened way back then. I mean, think about it. Would, if you had social media back in your day, would the, would the president be really respected? Would the police officers be really respected? Would the, the clergy, the because everything everybody's being exposed whether it's you know truth or not everybody's being exposed to some degree and it's we are our heroes so to speak we're just i mean the way i look at it we see that they're human we see that they are human when magic johnson contracted it and i was a big i'm still a big magic johnson fan mm -hmm. when he contracted hiv that blew my mind like that can happen to him yeah you know, it blew my freaking mind. And at that point, I just realized, man, nobody is, is exempt from anything in this happening to them in this world. But coming forward to today mm -hmm. is Q. Mm -hmm. And some of the things that are coming out, that there is a democratic cabal mm -hmm. that takes little children out into the woods dances around the fire, cuts the top of their head off, That's and drinks extreme. their blood. That's extreme. Uh, Pizzagate. Are you familiar no, with I'm Pizzagate? Not. <laughs> Pizzagate started on a radio show with 
uh, Michael Flynn and his son saying that Hillary Clinton had uh, uh, child pornography and, and uh, were using kids, young kids, for sex. Whoa. And it was on the radio, and they weren't stopped. They, they just kept talking and talking. One young man from North Carolina took his gun, sent a message to his family, I'm doing what I have to do. He went to New York, and he shot that pizzeria up. That pizzeria had nothing to do with it. He didn't kill anyone, but he could have because of what someone said. We have that with Fox News. We have that, and, and CNN and MSNBC, they're, they're not absolved of it. Mm -hmm. They do a little more fact-checking, mm -hmm. but they're not 100%. They're not but we have gotten to the point that we can hear the most bizarre things. Jewish lasers started the fires in California. I like the new one that came out that... Someone in Italy worked out a program and put it up in the satellite, the Italian satellite, and was changing votes from Trump to Biden, Trump to Biden, Trump to Biden. Uh, a truck backed up, and they got this guy, and they asked him, well, that's what I thought it was. People believed it. My, down in, at, at Cobo Hall, or whatever it is they call it now, mm -hmm. TFC Hall, it's still Cobo to me. I'm traditionalist. Uh, Comerica is Tiger Stadium. Mm -hmm. um, that's how it's going to be for me. Mm -hmm. So I have my conspiracies too. Um, but they said that a car backed up, and this woman testified under oath. She saw those votes go into the uh, Cobo Hall or TCF Center, and she saw it. She wrote an affidavit, that's what she said on TV, to the Michigan Senate. Mm -hmm. Well, I know for a fact, and it was announced, that was WDIV bringing in their cameras. It's on film. But they, they, it was they, have, all they have labels on their trucks, so I, I have a question. Could uh, could this be the beginning of the end of free speech? I'm, 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 only reason I say that is because everything that takes place is based off of some rhetoric on social media. You know, whether it's true, whether it's you know, whether it's false, things are people are um, believing these things and acting on these things based on. Just like, like I said, like QAnon, I was watching a video earlier today. And they eat this stuff up and they believe it. It goes back to... That's why it will. Yeah. There's several other things that are going with it, but now we're being told what we can say. Right. And we're being told what we can read. Right. And this is what right. helps bring down the democracy. Right. We have the right to say something stupid. Mm -hmm. We always had that right. Mm -hmm. And, like they say, democracy is not free, so if people want to talk stupid, mm -hmm. they have the right to do that. Yeah. We don't have the right to stop them. I can sit on here and talk about the damnedest, stupidest things you ever heard. Mm -hmm. That's why I told you, please don't throw anything at your TV. But, do you have to believe it? Yeah. Or can you think on your own and say, he's a horse's ass? Yeah. Yeah. But if you do, then check it out. Check and see, does, does this make sense? Mm -hmm. Just because somebody says that, and it, right now, we really don't have too many people. Tell me one person right now that you say has 90% credibility in what they say. One person. I can't even think of one person. I can't think of one. Which means that everyone, including me, and, and when I tell you something mm -hmm. or I say something, think about it. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm asking you. Mm -hmm. Think about what you're hearing. Because some of this stuff, uh, it, the stuff that's coming off cue, it's so bizarre. How can you possibly, even in your own mind, 
That's a bad dream. That's a, that's a, uh, that's a dream from the liberal that's in the mud. Well, let me ask you this, <laughs> let me ask you this question. With, with media, I mean, not, excuse me, with entertainment, I think they kind of, like, me, me, and, uh, me and my fiance had a talk the other day about uh, certain movies that just seem too, like, there gotta be a little truth to that. You know, it, there's some movies that's like that. So I'm wondering if these same individuals. You mean like, uh, what's, that, what's, uh, what's one where they dropped a bomb? That was back in the 60s. I, I can't think of the name. I can't think of the, of the name either. Yeah. Um, how I learned to get uh, Peter Sellers was in it, and and George C. Scott. Uh, you know, I, I don't think I've I don't think I've seen that yeah. seen that movie. But it's it's I, I think along with entertainment, and these conspiracy theories, I think people maybe connect the two possibly. I mean, it may sound a little outrageous. I'm sorry, it may sound a little outrageous, but yeah, but uh, movies uh, and, it, and that are fantasies. What are imitates? Life. Yeah, but it, it it tells you something. But yeah, when it, it the, art imitates what life, doesn't it also tell you to think? Yeah, that true. True. I'm I'm just saying I'm I'm just giving them the benefit of the doubt, saying that maybe they connect the two. Like, oh yeah, there was a movie like iRobot. So yeah, I think the Democrats are building you know <laughs> building these these uh, these robots to to take you know take out the Republicans. I mean it. it <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, uh, I, I'm, I'm just saying. I, I'm just trying to give them the benefit of the no. doubt because it because it, it 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 births from somewhere. I don't think that it's just the the QAnon itself. I think that it it, it could be the the video game. It could be anything that kind of ushers that along in a sense for them. And, and there there can be um, now uh, the comment that um, video games cause these kids to shoot there's some there's some truth to it there's there's um, a desensitize, uh, desensitizing of, of a show uh, of a game like uh, uh, what was the one with the gun call uh, it call of duty or something like yeah that. something yeah, like yeah. that or, or uh, Grand Theft Auto or, mm -hmm. or something maybe because some of these games are really getting but, but it, it, will everybody do it no 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 well because my generation grew up with you know, I guess the advent of you know the the changing of the video games, um, and I, I can't speak for everyone my age in the world, but I just know my age group. You know, we played those same games, those shoot what they call shooters and uh, Grand Theft Grand Theft Auto, but none of us have ever fantasized about actually. We no, we, we, no, we no, never no, we no, never no, you know no, went I, out I, and just like you know what this. I, I in in a, a situation like that, I would say that is something to think about. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily is the statement correct, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it does, there, there could be small portions of it. And that's why I say, if you think, if you hear something, think about it, check it out. Mm -hmm. See if it's legit. If it is legit, then by all means, believe it. Yeah. But if it's just somebody saying something and you say, oh my God, that's what it is, mm -hmm. that's how Q survives. Mm -hmm. That's how all these outrageous comments, but now there's a defensive thing to the Q. With Q, if you if I say something and you don't believe me, like with Marjorie Taylor Greene, mm -hmm. then you must be a pedophile. Really? If you don't agree with what I say, you're a Democratic pedophile. Now, I don't know if a, a regular pedophile and a Democratic <laughs> pedophile are different. I, I mean, they're, to me, they're both, they're both, both don't sound they're, good. No, they don't, they don't. But they don't. the fact is, see what you are, mm -hmm. and that's how they get you in. Mm -hmm. Now, the Christian nationalists are trying that now mm -hmm. because they're pushing for this country to be Christian, mm -hmm. but their version of Christian and any other religion mm -hmm. would be against the law. That is what they're pushing for. You know, now, again, what I just said, check me out on it mm -hmm. because you should. This is something I've heard. This is something I've watched. But again, people, you hear something, take the time to check it out. Mm -hmm. If I'm wrong, send a letter. Um, speak, when you're talking about religion, I, it brought me back to when I used to work at the Hilton out there on, um, it's now the NBC Suites on Featherstone. And there was the um, Jehovah Witness Convention at the Silverdome at the time. Mm -hmm. 
So I uh, take this family to the room. Uh, it was a, I want to say she was the grandmother. Uh, she offered me a tip. And, I, you know, I, I never really liked accepting tips. It was just, I just felt like I'm doing my job. So, mm -hmm. you know, unless I did a backwards flip and did the splits, you know, and did the moonwalk, then I'd say, okay, yeah, I'll take that tip. But, I, you know, I wasn't able to do any of that. But I didn't accept the tip. And you know what she said to me? She said, you must be a Jehovah Witness. And it threw me back a little bit. I'm like, well, are they the only ones that are, you know, that are nice and courteous? I said, no, ma'am. Hmm. I said, I'm, I I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Christian, you know. And she kind of had this, this kind of step back like that. And that was the first time that through my actions I was labeled not just as being a kind human being, but being labeled as, you know, being part of a, a were, different religion. You were labeled, but you were... From what I, I hearing you say, you were respectful yeah. to the family. Yeah. You did your job as a courtesy yeah. to them. Yeah. But the label, well, I mean, it, it's it, uh, it's not an insult. No, it, no, it, it's not an insult. But for her to think that I'm anything else, but but the the, the thing with Q is you are the enemy. Mm. The conspiracy, if you don't conform to the conspiracy, you are the enemy. Mm -hmm. And once you are that, you're no good. So it, that's where those two labels of liberal and, and conservative come in. Mm -hmm. And they're not true. Mm -hmm. And when you break it down, it is not true. Mm -hmm. Now we're starting to get into gays mm -hmm. should not be allowed to be here. Mm -hmm. You cannot be gay. We can pass a law saying that you can't be gay. Mm -hmm. Well, if I'm not mistaken, I think they had a law that said being black, you, you were three-fifths of a person. Yeah. Yeah. And we believed it mm -hmm. until we figured it out. Yeah. It's tragic that so many people had to die to figure out something that is standing right in front of us because we didn't have the guts to think about it. Yeah. Yeah. That's sad. Yeah, and, and we're going deeper and deeper. Now we're banning books because we don't like what that book says. It, it, it make them, uh, uh, you know, give them a trauma. Mm -hmm. I was told to read the damn book. Mm -hmm. Shut up and read it. Learn from it. Yeah. You know, uh, in broadcasting school, they teach you that <clears throat> how you start, a, a, when you're doing a voiceover, how you start a commercial is you know kind of how you end it and I think that's how America is at this point it was concepted through violence and I think it's going to end through violence and there's no other way because we are we're just we're just we're too far gone now we're, we're just too far gone and there and there's there's nothing I don't believe that there's nothing or no one on this earth that can save us from ourselves at this point See, now, being in the mud over here on the liberal <laughs> side, I believe we can, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, I think we have to learn our lesson. But what is it going to take? I mean, we, that ten, I don't was know. It ten well, how many kids at, 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 the, at the, school, the mass shooting? Nineteen. Nineteen? I don't it, know. It, I, I put it like this. If, if the, uh, the mass shooting in Columbine didn't do anything, well, I, I'll give you an example, and I'm glad you brought that. Ted Cruz is a horse's patoot. Okay, that's a fact. You don't even need to check that out. All you got to do is listen to him. He, he gives himself away. He said that in order to combat that, the only way to beat a bad guy with a gun is to have a good guy with a gun. And that we should have... One door in and one door out. And we should put armed guards at that door. Okay. All right. Teddy boy. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get that school. I'm going to lay down. I'm going to shoot those two SOBs in front of the door. I'm going to go in that school I'm going to do everything I can. I'm going to lock them doors and nobody's leaving. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a U.S. senator who said that. Mm -hmm. Did he think 
Now, that right there is asinine. Yeah. So if there was a fire in there. Well, it's going to, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But yet, he is a senator mm -hmm. who got up and said something like that. Elise Stefanik in Buffalo, she's a congresswoman from New York. She wants to make her life better. She took over for Liz Cheney. What a drop that was. But guess what she said after the Buffalo shooting? What's that? Send me $10, a dollar for each child that was killed so I can represent you and get this taken care of. You dumb bitch. You asked for money off of people's death? Yeah. And yet people sent it to them. Hmm. It was bad enough that they were sending it to Jimmy Swigert and, and Jim and Tammy Faye Baker. Now, I, you know, there was something I was wrong. I'm going to say it. I was wrong. Donald Trump did not collect $125 million. He collected $250 million because stupid people listened to what he said and sent it to him. Ladies and gentlemen, damn, use your head. All you are is $50, $100, 1000 maybe a $1 million dollars poorer than you were before, and you changed nothing but make someone else richer. Use your head. Step back and listen. This is why Q, and, and the guy in Q hasn't really brought anything out. People are helping him. Now, there are fringes out there, and you can find them if you know how to tap into the computer. You know where to look. They're out there, and they'll tell you this stuff. But as long as they tell you and you believe it, this is how we get further and further apart. And in order to come back together, are we going to need bloodshed in which to do it? Now, that sounds kind of crazy, but we're kind of ending up there anyway. Because right now, we have militias out there, and they're growing. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I said. If I'm not mistaken, uh, you said that, that the, the religious groups are starting to get military people. Yeah, they're recruiting military, uh, ex-military, <laughs> yeah. because they feel that a uh, civil war is going to break out. You know, uh, they're preparing themselves. Apparently, so it's that's what I said, Dave. It's I don't I don't think bloodshed bloodshed is 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 not uncommon uh, not uncommon in, in America. So we had this in the '60s. There was a yeah. lot of uh, violence in the '60s. Yeah, so uh, we feel, don't want to look back on it. I feel like if it didn't change then, Dave, it, Come what, on. what's I, I mean, look, I, look, I, I I try I try to be an optimist, but just looking at look, good example, like uh, we were we were talking about. Um, how, uh, how I don't want to say use the term attack, but when people see you in public, yeah, yeah, you know, they if, if I go up to someone who is a Trumpster and I say something because they have no factual evidence of it, mm -hmm. example, Trump won. Mm -hmm. Okay, you say Trump won, yet there is absolutely a hundred percent no proof. And there's a lot of proof that he didn't win. Mm -hmm. And more and more of it is coming out. Yet you stand by that. Mm -hmm. And because you have no factual proof other than what he said, you must attack me mm -hmm. because I give you a contrary opinion. Yeah. Yeah. So w why do we have to go there? Well, th think about it. Th that's, to them, that's their truth. Regardless of what evidence is out there, they are standing firm by what they believe. They believe that no matter what, true, very that's, true. That's their truth, so they're going to stand by it and they're going to defend it till their very last breath. Just like you have a truth, I have a truth, and we stand by those things. But so. but the thing is, there there's no basis of that. And the, the term that uh, Kellyanne Conway came up with, alternative facts. I remember when that was on. I, I watched that live. That's what we believe now, alternative facts. Yeah. No, we don't need the truth. We don't need real facts. We need alternative facts, the ones that make us feel good. Yeah. And uh, another issue that I, I have, uh, you know, we can work Q1 into this, is the Republican Party. Now, let's go back to my age. Mm -hmm. I'm an old son of a bitch. Been an old son of a bitch for years. But I voted Republican. Mm -hmm. I voted Ford. I voted uh, Reagan twice. Mm -hmm. 
met Reagan. Reagan, nice man. Well, hold on, let me ask you a question, though. Did you vote Republican based on the fact that I'm Republican or because of what you felt that they would do for your country? I trusted, okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Um, I liked Reagan. I liked Ford. I thought Ford was a very honest president. I thought he was an honest man. Mm-hmm. Um, he was never boisterous. He never tried to make him out himself out more than what he was. Mm-hmm. He, was he was a straight up guy. Mm-hmm. And I think Reagan was too. Reagan at one time was a Democrat. Mm-hmm. He changed in the uh, early 60s because he got on board with uh, Barry Goldwater. And there was nothing wrong with that because his views made sense. I listened to what he said. Did I agree with everything? Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. Mm-hmm. Do I agree with everything Biden says or Obama? Absolutely not. Mm-hmm. Some of it, yes. But that's because I can think. Mm-hmm. But now, the Republicans now, and, and the person who got me into politics and got me into thinking about it and talking about it and learning about it was Phil Rupi, a Republican. Mm-hmm. So this crap about me wallowing in the mud is bullshit. Mm-hmm. Because I looked at the person. Jimmy Carter was a Democrat. Personally, I wasn't, I wasn't impressed with him. Mm-hmm. However, his thinking and his, uh, some of the things he did was honest. Mm-hmm. I think Washington was not a place for Jimmy Carter to go. Saints don't go to Washington mm-hmm. or Vegas. Hey, I want to go to Vegas. I'm a saint. You won't be when you get there. <laughs> okay, but um, my point is that, that every president has good and bad about them. Mm-hmm. But the Republican Party has gone so far off the deep end, I can't even listen to them anymore. And, and my opinion of the Republican Party right now, this is my opinion, so take it. I'm not charging you for it, so you can do with it whatever you want. Just don't run over me in the street, is let Trump have his party. Trumpsters and Trumpism is not the Reagan, Roosevelt, Ford, Bush, Republican Party. They're different. Trump is an infection. Trump is a social disease. That's what he is, a social disease who breeds hate and still does it. Listen to his speeches. There's the enemy. Yeah, but given him, I know we can't stop him from having his own party. Uh, No, but he should have his own party. No, that's, you don't think that's a little bit dangerous? No, no. I mean, no. his rhetoric. I'll tell you why. His rhetoric is gonna stay out there, but it's affecting people who don't want it to. There's politicians out there, there's congressmen and senators behind closed doors They can't stand him, but are so afraid of losing their position and not being in part of the money. What they're forgetting is that they work for us, Mm -hmm. but what Trumpsters and Trumpism is, you have put your allegiance to one man and what he thinks. Whereas with the Constitution, the Constitution is a set of laws and rules that we all follow that gives us the rights and protects those rights Mm -hmm. are supposed to. Supposed to. Yeah, probably more so at other times than it does now. Mm -hmm. But Trumpism is to a single person. Mm -hmm. I don't believe these Republicans want to. A lot of them, as you can see, are quitting. And uh, can you see that, and, and this goes back to Q, some of the stuff that has come out about Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger. Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger are heroes to me. Do I agree with everything? No. Do I respect them? Hell yes. They stood up. They know the difference between right and wrong. And that, as simple as it sounds, is what we're missing. Trumpism does not know the difference between right and wrong. They have to have an enemy. They have to. And that enemy has brought them together to the point that Republicans must be beholden to them because I'll lose my position. I ran for office. 
I did the right thing and I lost. If I had to do it that way, the hell with it. But Dave, remember we had this conversation. I said, Dave, I said, I know you don't want to. And, and I'm, I'm not advocating that. Well, I guess it's going to sound like I am advocating. <laughs> but I felt like in order, in some cases, and maybe in a lot of cases, to change something, to change the way things are, you have to kind of, I guess you have to kind of get your way in there first to make the changes from the inside out. I don't think the changes can be made from the outside in. It's, it's. It, yes. But. It, it's a sacrifice that has to be made. I feel. Um. Because. I'm, I'm sorry, but I, 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 I agree with what you're saying. Mm -hmm. But I can't do that. Because a leader is somebody you want to follow. A leader is not somebody that tells you to follow them, tells you to believe this, tells you to do this. A leader is someone that you look up to and say, that person, Adam Kinzinger, mm -hmm. lost his position, but is doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. He's not a rhino. Trump says he's a rhino. Trump says, uh, and we talked about Pence last week. Pence, to me, do I agree with everything he does? Hell no. His stand on, on gays and, and uh, abortion, I 100% disagree with. Mm -hmm. However, I can look at him and say, what you did on that day was the right thing. Mm -hmm. uh, Liz Cheney, I, didn't, I liked her father under Bush Sr. I couldn't stand him under Bush Jr. Mm -hmm. Okay, there were things I liked about him. And, and that's with everybody. Mm -hmm. You're, you're going to find good and bad. Mm -hmm. You're never going to find the saint. You're never going to find anyone that's 100%. But you, and you do have to take the good with the bad. Mm -hmm. But sometimes there's more bad than good. Yeah. yeah. And with these people, I see in them, they know the difference between right and wrong, and that is half the battle. And, and I get it. I get it, Dave. You know, uh, you know some years, some decades ago, um, I believe it was the uh, CIA or the FBI infiltrated you know, the Black Panther Party, party because they thought the Black Panther Party mm -hmm. was just as bad as the, well, I don't think they ever thought the Ku Klux Klan was bad, but anyway, they infiltrated it because mm -hmm. they thought it was a bad organization and they destroyed it. And that's how, that, I think that's the only way the government is going to change because to me, the government is no different than any type of uh, organization that, you know, that, 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 that's, uh, I guess for the lack of a better term, not, not for the good okay. of the people. But hold on. So I think that it has to be infiltrated by someone like yourself in order to make the changes from the inside out. And that's not, that's not I, don't think, I don't think that you would be compromising your morals. I think you're doing what's, what's right for okay. the greater good. Okay, example. When I ran, I said, I ran for, for let, let's go state rep. Mm -hmm. 86,000 people is what you represent. Mm -hmm. But you represent an area. You are the custodian of the vote. You're not the owner. Mm -hmm. You are not, a, 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 you are in a party, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. The party has something to say and has a platform. No problem with that. Mm -hmm. As long as that party compromises, you know, there's, there's collaboration, cooperation, uh, compromise and, and I forget the, uh, what the other one was. I had four C's mm -hmm. of being a politician. Mm -hmm. But y you come together and you make life better for everybody mm -hmm. or for the great majority. Mm -hmm. Not, you can't have everything you want, but you, you compromise at it mm -hmm. and everybody gets a little bit. Mm -hmm. But that's not what we are now. No, no. Now we want to take, take it over. We want people to be dominated. Mm -hmm. Now, these, the Republican Party used to stand for that mm -hmm. in their own way, in, in their platform. And their platform was not wrong. But what is there now is clearly uh, uh, authoritarianism. So, I will tell you what to read. I will tell you what to say. Mm -hmm. I will tell you what to do. I will tell you how to do it. Mm -hmm. And if you don't do it, you're the enemy. So where's the, where's the, where's the pushback on that? Where, where, I mean, it's, it's like we... We'll we'll fight for the rights of of you know the LGBTQ, ABC, WXYZ, you know community which I have nothing against. Um, we'll we'll fight for other rights, but we will not fight for the rights of ourselves. There's no, I don't 
I, 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 I don't see I don't see anything. I don't see I don't, I don't want to see an uprising, but like as you said, they work for us. Actually, so I, when are we going when are we going to demand that from them? Actually, I think you are seeing it. And 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 unfortunately we're we're getting to the end of the the show, but I I would like to throw this in. Going back to what I said about abortion that it would never be decided. Mm -hmm. One way or the other, mm -hmm. neither side can possibly win. Mm -hmm. Now you can force the issue, but <laughs> the other side ain't going to follow. Mm -hmm. But I think if we came together and we all sat down, and, 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 and or the, those, the powers that be, sat down and said, okay, we're going to come up with a solution that we can walk out this door and come to terms together. Mm -hmm. Is that possible? Yes. Are we going to do it? Hell no. Hell no. Well, we have to get the right people in office to do so. But I still, I still stand firm with... I think, I think we have a lot of Republicans. There, there's a lot of Republicans that I, I would vote for. Uh, one would be, as I say, John Kasich, um, Anthony Gonzalez. Uh, there, there's some really good Republicans right. out there. But right now, they're un involved with Trumpism. They're infected. I'm just so tired of these labels, man. And I, and I, it's, let Trump have his party. Let him, let him go his own way. Now, here's the problem with that. If that were to happen, Republicans and Trumpsters probably would not win a lot of offices, and the Democrats would have the power. Know. I don't know. I, and I, that I is, disagree. Well, no, because it would split the party. I disagree. I think there's more people that want things the way that Trump was trying to form it versus the way things we want them to be. I just, I just think that in this case, you mean just, the, the, the hate, they, they, the, they believe in Trumpism? They, they believe in it, man. And, and I think there's more people I out there. I don't. I, I disagree. I, I'm sorry, Dave. I, I, I can. I, it's, it's sad, man. I it, believe that there's old school. I, I hate to use the term old school Republicans, mm -hmm. but I think they're out there. I think they're afraid because even Democrats are afraid to say something. That's why the Democratic Party is kind of falling apart because they're afraid to confront. Now, January 6th is confronting it. And it's confronting it in a way, but the funny thing is, Republicans and Trumpsters are really kind of taken aback and don't know what to say. Uh, it's a witch hunt, it's this, it's this, but that's as far as it goes. So I think next week we'll have to continue this. Yes, definitely, definitely. So if, if we don't, I mean, but the point of today, we made some, we made points. Take them for what they're worth. Think about them. Talk with people. I think that's the biggest thing we've lost. When I was a kid, we learned how to please, thank you, yes sir, no sir. We learned how to talk to people. I don't think we do that anymore. Mm -hmm. you, on you, it. you and I sitting here for, for an hour talking, I, I don't think I threw a punch at you, and you didn't pull a gun. No, but on you me. was wrong the whole damn show, Dave. No, I'm just, I'm just joking. No, I'm just joking, man. I'm just joking. No, I, I had the ball a little longer than you. Well, I right. didn't score a touchdown. I mean, you know, you were Kobe. I was Shaq. It was zero zero yeah. at the end. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's our time, and thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining us this evening. We will be back. Ooh. I'm not we're, sure. Yep, we're not sure when we'll be back. We will be back, but thank you for joining us. Um, I'll be back when my wife tells me I can. <laughs> I'm Corey I'm Scott. This is Dave <laughs> Lewis. Political, uh, political news, political views. It's thank like you. The thank you for joining us. Have a good night.